fruit seller and the boy. In a village, there was a smart fruit seller. Once a small boy bought some berries from him. The fruit seller gave him berries less in weight. The boy asked, Why have you given me less berries? The fruit seller replied, Lesser the berries, easier to carry. Now give me the money. The boy gave some money to the fruit seller and walked off. The fruit seller counted and found the money to be less. The fruit seller shouted, Hey boy, you have given me less money. The boy replied, Lesser the money, easier to count, isn't it? The Greedy Farmer Once there was a poor farmer named Bansi. His family lived in poverty and they were very sad. One day, his wife told him to go to another village and earn some good money. But he didn't pay any attention. Soon there was no money left with them. Bansi one day went to the jungle to cut some trees. There he found a wounded goose. He brought her home and took good care of her. The goose was so happy that she thought of rewarding Bansi and his family in some way. The goose laid one golden egg that morning. When Bansi came to feed the goose, he saw the golden egg and called his wife. He sold that golden egg and brought thanks for his family. The goose started laying golden egg every morning and soon they became very rich. One day, a very wicked idea came to Bansi's mind. He thought to himself, if the magic goose lays one golden egg every day, how many golden eggs will be inside the goose? If I cut open the goose, I can become very rich in a single day. He killed the goose and cut open, but he found no eggs inside. Because of his greed, he lost his magic goose and her golden eggs. The Lion and the Mouse Once a lion caught a mouse. The mouse said, Please let me free. Someday I'll do you a favor. The lion let him go. One day the lion was caught in a hunter's net. The mouse came along, bit the ropes and let the lion slip away. We should always help others. Storytelling The Old Man and His Two Sons In a village, an old man had two sons. He became sick and wanted to distribute his wealth between them. He called his sons and gave them rupees 100 each and asked them to fill the house to make it beautiful. The elder one bought decorative pieces and filled the house. The second son bought a candle for rupees two and lighted the candle which filled the whole house with light. The old man appreciated the second son's wisdom and gave his wealth to him. The Talking Cave A lion was hungry. He saw a cave. He thought that an animal would come to the cave. So, he hid him in the cave. The cave belonged to a fox. The fox came to the cave. He saw the footprints of the lion. He wanted to confirm if the lion was in the cave or not. So, he called out loudly, O oh cave, I am back. Can I enter you? The lion thought that the cave talked to the fox. But when he saw no reply forthcoming from the cave, he said, O oh fox, you are welcome to the cave. The fox came to know that there was a lion in the cave, so he ran away.